Hello, I want to talk to you today about something that happened to me when I was in high school. In fact, I'm going to tell you about an accident that I had uh, back in the United States. But first, let me give you a little bit of a background on the situation. As a senior in high school, when I was entering my second semester, I had been able to drive and have my license for a year and a half. <laughs> Here and a half, I had been driving around in my mother's van. Yes, I bought the van where I wanted to go. I didn't. Drive to school. I rode with my mom. The second semester of my senior year, having a car was a really big deal to me. So, I was finally able to drive a car that I actually already had for a while. You see, when I was 13 years old, I saw my uncle's truck and it was an old piece of junk. And it was a 1963 Ford F-150. It was really working down, but I thought, hey, that would be really cool to restore something like that. My dad dropped a hundred bucks on the truck, uh, bought the whole thing from my uncle, and he gave it to me for my birthday, right? Big deal. So, for four years, the two of us worked together. Restoring it. We redid the interior, we had to strip the old wood bed out, new one in. We had Then we had to uh, sand it and paint it. We had to redo the engine part. We had to buy new uh, wheels for it.
So we went to it for a long, long time, but finally, in December of my senior year, right around Christmas, it was ready to go. So, I had it and I cruised around with it. It was the best looking thing in the parking lot. And then, January 16th of my senior year, uh, which was 1992,
1963, vehicles did not have to have seat belts in them, so we didn't have them in there. They weren't required by the law. So there was plop out of the dirt. First person to find me was the hunter who had lost the hound dog. He said, Have you seen a hound dog? He said, Run in front of me. He said, Are you okay? And I said, I think so. And he left looking for the hound dog. I assume he's the person who caught the image because it was there shortly, and then my parents uh, came by shortly after that with my brother. That's all that came of it, except my poor truck. I never was able to drive it again. I had it for three weeks, three glorious weeks, and then <laughs> nothing. Well, that's my rack story. Uh, thanks very much for listening, and have a good one.